Well, if this is any indication of how my life's going right now, <laughs> also over here, I originally came over here to rake leaves and I happened to look in the basement and I'm like, why is there a reflection on the floor? So I go in there and look at that. I got a foot of water in here. Holy crap. <clears throat> well, I got this old pump going. And that slightly newer pump going. So, hopefully get this pumped out soon. It doesn't look like it's been flooded very long. Because there isn't any kind of mold or anything down here. I think it's, but it's completely flooded. I mean, I... That radio over there was sitting in the water. I had to pull that out of the water. Uh, but, yeah, it's just completely, I mean, at least they built this, this basement right because it's like, they got that border all the way around it. So it kind of contains the water. But yeah, this is the worst I have ever seen it. I also very wisely put all this stuff on pallets. I don't know. I mean, obviously this stuff's gonna be ruined right here, but everything was put on block, either on blocks or elevated. And so it's not a complete loss, but anything here I'm gonna have to probably toss. <clears throat> but yeah, did not expect to see this when I came here today. That is a lot of water. My grandma told me, um, because I, I used to ask her how bad the, the it would get in here, you know? And she said it would come up to the bottom of that step there. And boy, she wasn't kidding. Because it, it is up to the bottom of that step. This has been pumping for about an hour now. And uh, it's just barely making a dent in it. Because I, I had to go home. Well, I had this was here. And then I had to go home and get that one. Just to kind of pump things out faster, so... Well, it is what it is, you know, at least uh, I don't have too much valuable stuff down here. I mean that vacuum cleaner was down in the water too, so that's probably no good anymore. We've got buckets floating. Oh yeah, so uh, this, this box is also garbage, and this can probably take it no problem, so, <clears throat> because that thing's made to get wet, that dehumidifier. But yeah, this is definitely the worst I've ever seen it in my lifetime. Because usually, you know, on a, in a wet year, it'll get a little bit of water down here. A little over there, but that's it. But this, really, wow. Well, we're still pumping out. Right here. And way over there. And this pump is about as old as the house, 1951, and it's still working great. And yeah, it's definitely made some headway because you see that watermark there on the sawhorse. It's definitely gone down a lot. It's just taken a while. And then we got this pump here, pumping it out the front there. Yeah, this this area is, is flood prone, but this is definitely the worst I've ever seen it. I mean, sometimes we'll get a little bit down there, but this is like a swimming, swimming pool down here. I think it's after six in the afternoon now. I've been here for a couple hours. Oh, yeah, you can see over there, the yard over there is flooded a little bit. There's just sitting water there on the ground. This whole area is really swampy. If I go over here, you can see the, the swamp over there. 
and if we go in the woods here you'll see some more swampy area but as I was driving down the road coming here <clears throat> I could see everybody's yard was flooded and I was like oh boy but I didn't think anything of it and then I just happened to look down in the basement and I saw all the water and I see this this area is all flooded too there's a culvert right there that runs under the road. Hell yeah. This area just tends to flood, but at least, uh, you know, they built this house with the flooding in mind, so nothing got really damaged or anything. I don't think the water has been sitting there that long. Maybe only about a day or so, because it rained really bad the other night. So that's probably when it flooded. But we've got it under control now. So if I got anything more to update I'll add something else to this video. But looks like it's doing pretty good. See I'm gonna have to in a minute I'm gonna have to go down there and uh, see once this water gets low enough uh, what my grandma used to do is take this big wash tub here and put it down here and use a, a dustpan and just keep shoveling it in there. That well, that pump over there will go deeper than this one, but I like to have two pumps going to get the water out of here faster. So once it gets low enough and it stops pumping water outside, I'll do that. 